the so far uh, only the ongc a public sector undertaking is involved in the process of hydrocarbon extraction uh, is this organization following the standard operating procedure laid for extraction process no I, ongc so far they are involved only in the conventional wells they are having lot of wells uh, numbers are not known exactly uh, in the kaveri uh, basin for extraction of uh, natural gas particularly but they are not involved in the non conventional hydrocarbon at all uh, they considered all these things as a minor resources and it is not feasible for ongc to get involved in this uh, minor resources so they are not ready to invest their uh, money in this uh, resources so government has uh, gone to private parties even among the private parties the parties which will be ready to do this kind of minor resources are not the usual uh, the known the uh, giants in the oil and gas sector what we know as the, the seven sisters like uh, exxon mobil bp shell and all they are not interested in this small resources that to involving this much of uh, problems so government has gone on other one step more and they are inviting people even without experience in the oil and gas sector you now the problem multiplies when it becomes it is open to anybody and uh, the tender which they issued for this uh, what they call as uh, hydrocarbon is actually unconventional hydrocarbon it says specifically prior experience is not required and we cannot find a tender document published anywhere in the world by uh, any government which says uh, prior experience is not required but uh, as anybody uh, else is not ready to come they are trying to bring people who are close to them politically to do this work the the company which has uh, quoted which got and which is not going to do now it is a company which never ever done any work in oil field forget about natural oil even vegetable oil they have not done it say there is only a marketing agency somehow those people are pulled in and they were given the license to do the project but because of the opposition that project didn't uh, go in time so they have withdrawn though they have withdrawn government has not withdrawn the project so now they are trying to come back again by other names and now uh, they have changed the rules and changed the policies so that now if they have given if they have given a license the license will be good enough for doing any extraction so they need not uh, be con- confined to any particular uh, type of hydrocarbon so it is known as uh, AELP uh, area exploration licensing policy that one particular area will be given to the private uh, operator and he can take whatever is there and the below the ground but give, after giving this kind of license they are telling it is only uh, conventional hydrocarbon which is a blot and lie so they are going to take only non conventional unconventional uh, hydrocarbons which is shale oil or shale gas so that is the reason why the government is slowly making it more and more attractive to the private properties and in this process they are making it more and more dangerous and more and more opaque to the general public so this is the reason why organizations like tamil nadu science forum we are stepping in and we are making it uh, clear to the public what they are calling by various names and what they are trying to do and what they can do in this area which in our opinion is uh, inappropriate and the cost what we will be paying for taking this uh, meager resources compared to the benefit what we will be deriving out of this extraction is uncomparable so this is not una- this is not only uneconomical it is uh, determinous to the environment of this area and it is determinous to the people who are involving in the agricultural activities so there are multiple reasons multiple angles uh, because of which this project should be opposed and we are happy that the opposition is strong in that area and i don't think today they will be able to enforce that project 
on the people of uh, Kaveri Delta and Tanjavur district or in other areas related to that in Kadalur, Puducherry and other areas. So that's the story. So the allocation of uh, exploration license to the new policy AELP, the Vedanta group has also been uh, allocated with certain areas for exploration. With a track record of what we know about uh, Vedanta, do you feel that it will be safe for the people of uh, Kaveri Basin to proceed with such kind of a company? No, that's a problem. That's a problem. Now, uh, at least the earlier company the, from Karnataka, they don't have a track record in the high technology sector. Now, Vedanta has a very bad track record concerning environment and concerning their interference in the political and administrative affairs of the country and the state. So people have to be uh, doubly careful uh, uh, when the name of uh, Vedanta is looming large in the horizon. So and already whoever is doing this unconventional oil and gas exploration, extraction, the problems are severe. Even if it is ONGC, whom we can say comparatively much more uh, conscious about the uh, environment and the people and the area in which they are operating. They themselves should not do. This is what our stand is. If it is a private sector uh, uh, operator, then we have to be extremely careful. We should not allow. I mean, what is there to be careful? And if it is Vedanta, it is much more serious affair considering their track record, especially the sterlight. All over the world, there are copper plants. Nowhere in the world, the pollution levels are like what they have done in Tutugurin. And it is not a slippage or something like that, which has happened at one point of time. They were very, very, I mean, cunningly, for many, many years, they have done it, knowing very well. So they, with the kind of track record which they have in a process, in an industry, where it is possible to curtail the uh, you know, problems, curtail the environmental issues. They have not done it. Now this is an area where even a well-meaning company like ONGC, you can say, even they cannot control the damages themselves. So that being the case, if it is sterilite, it should not be allowed at all. And I don't think people will allow in that area. Thank you.